How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at something extremely awesome because recently there was a data mine of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version 5.0 in which we found new modes and a ton of other really cool stuff. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, just because this information is in the code right now, we are going to be making a lot of guesses and assumptions, so make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you guys would like to read while I talk, you can find a link to the original post in the description bar down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this information came from. So guys, this information was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server named CNJ Gamers. so special shout out to you my friend, I really do appreciate that. So if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to my Discord as well as links to all of my other social media presences such as my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description bar down below as well as the pinned comment. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, all of this new information comes from Reddit, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So guys, like I said, this information originally comes from Reddit and it is titled Update on New Data Mind Mode. It starts by saying around 4 days ago, Reddit user Pintanito, sorry if I messed up that name, said they discovered an unused mode within the game's files called Convention. It's interesting because no mention of this mode existed in the base game up to 3.0 at least in the UI files. However, I recently downloaded 4.0 onto my desktop and took a peek. I can confirm that there is indeed a reference to convention in 4.0. Interestingly, I can't seem to find the UI files that were posted in the previous thread, so my guess is those files were added in 5.0. In either case, at least we know for sure that the file entries do exist. The question is, what can they tell us about the mode? Well, based off the file name of the one I looked at, we do know that it is primarily going to be an online mode. Online is written right into all the entries, so it's probably a surefire bet. What is very intriguing, however, is that the melee entry, and no, it does not stand for Super Smash Bros. Melee, that'd be cool though. Melee has always been a name to denote the multiplayer part of Smash Bros. internally, and as an example, all the multiplayer stages exist in a directory called Melee. So what can we infer from this is being a new online multiplayer mode of sorts. To add more fuel to the fire, Smash Ultimate did have some obvious spots open that were eventually filled with new modes, such as Tourney Mode and even Home Run Contest. Well, it did look weird after 3.0 and before Home Run Contest. Games and more had a row with 3 modes and another with 2, lol. In the Smash Online menu, you can clearly tell there's a spot for at least one more new mode. So yeah, it definitely does seem like the dev team is up to something. All this is weird considering Sakurai said HRC was their last game mode, so who knows. To me at least, the fact that this is being added incrementally in updates makes it seem to me that they have intentions on this being used. But who knows. Game development is weird, and maybe this was just multiple slip-ups of adding in accidentally scrapped content. We won't truly know for sure until an announcement is made. What I will say is though, if I had to speculate on the rest of the mode, and I should stress this part is speculation and not concrete, I'm thinking it might be the concept of slip space returning. For those who don't know, slip space is a scrapped mode from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It was supposedly an online beat em up mode where you try to knock out as many opponents as possible. So this would be like Multiman Smash but with all real life people. I think that mainly because of the UI images from the previous thread it shows Incineroar, Pit, and Fox looking at the Smash logo almost as if they're waiting for something which would be a perfect representation of you waiting for more players. Anyways that's pretty much it. Ignoring all the speculation, we basically know that'll most likely be a new online smash mode if it happens, so we'll definitely see what happens. Edit. PK Omega Smash figured it out. There were some .mbst entries for it, so if you want to see the findings, click on here for their thread. 
So guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what this other user has to say about the data mined information. So in this new post, it says, update on the data mined convention mode. It starts by saying, I don't know if this is worthy of another post, but I thought I'd comment on this new mode. If you don't know slash remember, I'm the guy who discovered those blank slots for three online modes, one smash mode, and one games and more mode almost a month ago. I didn't make the Reddit post about it here though. I actually found convention around that time too. I even mentioned the mode's name in my original Reset Era post, though the person who posted my info on Reddit didn't include that part. The file menu.msbt contains a few text strings relating to the mode, including its name and a brief description. So we see that convention is the official tourney qualifiers. Then we also see win against your rivals and advance to the tourney. And now we see that the event convention in session is now open. If you're wondering, yes, official tourney qualifiers is a separate mode from online tourney. The mel part means it should be found in the smash sub menu. Edit. I only just noticed a lot of additional text strings. I think these might explain the mode a little bit more. So as we can see, we have something for event date, event end, Fight to qualify for a spot in the tournament, check the tourney's rules and details, check the official tourney qualifiers that have already ended, now open, tourney info, enter, days until start, hours until start, minutes until start, starting soon, and view results. So now that we've gone over all of this brand new information, let's go ahead and talk about it. So guys, as we all already know, Sakurai has come out and say that Home Run Contest is not going to be the final mode that's going to appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so at the very least we are going to get at least one more. Now, it, since all of this information is already in the code of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that means that yes, something along the lines of what we've been reading about over the course of this video is what we are going to end up seeing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate very soon. Now in terms of this guys, yeah, it definitely sounds a lot like tourney mode. However, I actually would definitely kind of love playing like a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Battle Royale. Now as we all already know, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate you can play with up to 8 people on one Nintendo Switch, so I have a feeling it's probably just going to be online 8, pl like eight player battles or something like that. You know, it could change, but I think that something like that would be really cool. However guys, if they do end up doing that, that is going to be an absolute lag fest. Like, everything's gonna lag, it's gonna be basically unplayable, because even in 1v1s right now, like, the internet connection is always, like, not very good. So a lot of times we see lag with just two people, so I couldn't even imagine having eight different people battling it out online. Another thing that I think would be really cool is because Nintendo is starting to really support, like, the competitive scene for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Maybe this is going to be like officially sanctioned like Nintendo tournaments. Now obviously, they have done tournaments where you can win trips to EVO, they're doing one where you can win a trip to the big house right now, like Nintendo is finally starting to realize that Super Smash Bros. as a game franchise is something that is extremely competitive and they're starting to really like recognize that which is super cool. So maybe instead of having a sign up on Battlefy.com and then doing our matches like that, maybe you're just going to be able to do all of your matches like online through this system i think that would be absolutely amazing and something that a lot of fans like myself would really love to do personally i have signed up for these tournaments before but due to the the time constraints and everything i never end up playing in them so hopefully if we have something like this where you can just like play as you go that would be absolutely amazing and you could like also spectate the other people's matches like that would be absolutely awesome so hopefully and maybe it'll be something like that as well However guys, with all of that being said, let me know your thoughts about this brand new data mine mode in the comment section down below. Like personally, I am absolutely shocked that all of this is already in the code because we have seen so many data mine leaks in the past that I figured Nintendo at some point would like stop putting it in too early. But hey, I don't know that much about the development of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate so maybe they had to do that so they could release it alongside Terry Bogard. But like I said guys, let me know your thoughts about what you think this brand new mode is going to be in the comment section down below. So thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.